I'm Steve Riley. I'm one of the co-developers of the value-based negotiation workshop and methodology. Its foundation is our over 20 years experience working with corporations globally in the area of sales, negotiation, and leadership. We developed the value-based negotiation process in response to our client's request for a methodology in dealing with negotiators who play hardball to help their salespeople hold their ground against purchasing agents and customers with whom win-win techniques were less than effective. The value-based negotiation methodology works when win-win techniques don't. Value-based negotiation's underlying premise is that there are only two ways to narrow the gap between the low price a customer wants to pay and the higher price your company needs to charge. The first way and most effective way is to convince the customer that the value your goods and services bring more than offset the difference in price. The second and less effective way is to reduce your price until at some point the customer buys. You see, when salespeople do a poor job of defending their price with a strong value argument, the tougher it is for them to hold their ground when the customer asks for a lower price. But that's kind of theoretical. Let me give you a more concrete example that I think will make my point. Let's say I have a used car and I'd like to sell it, but before selling it, I identify that its book value is $15,000. And for whatever reason, I think I can get more than $15,000, so I list it for $20,000. Now, if an informed party calls me, their first question is most likely to be, why would I pay $20,000 for this automobile when I can buy the same car from someone else for $15,000? A poor negotiator's response to that is the phrase, well, would you be willing to pay $19,000? Because right then, I've given up $1,000 of gross profit. A better negotiator's response is the phrase, this car's worth $20,000, and let me tell you why. See, with value-based negotiation, we measure a negotiator's ability not by whether their final price is higher than their bottom line. We may measure a negotiator's ability by how close their final price is to their beginning price. We teach salespeople two things. One is, hold your ground. And the second is, if they have to give ground, get something for it. Most negotiation workshops take one of two approaches. The first approach is to train salespeople on a laundry list of negotiation tips and techniques, which may or may not apply to their particular negotiation situation. The second, is typically based on negotiation theory that comes out of nuclear disarmament talks and labor disputes. Value-based negotiation is different. Value-based negotiation is a sales-specific negotiation methodology that helps salespeople hold their ground against tough, tough negotiators. If we can help you tie your corporate profit strategies to your in-the-field pricing decisions, we'd like to hear from you. Thanks for your time.